Hi guys, welcome back to Freeze Drawing Mama. I'm actually doing this video from the comfort of my couch because I believe that planning should be fun and easy. I'm a huge planning freak. Um, so what I'm doing right here is my absolute favorite tool to use is just a piece of uh, notepad. So I just, I really like these just notepads. They're like 25 cents during um, school, getting ready for school break days and a pencil. I am a huge sucker for the 0 0.7 millimeter. Um, I love the way it writes. My handwriting sucks, so bear with me. But I love doing handwriting. Um, I actually just started getting into the iPads and using good notes and I have, a, I'm a sucker for that. I'm actually going to have some of my planner papers on that so I can show you what it looks like, but I'm trying to get away from using my printer as much as I do. Uh, so I have a printable in there to help you if you are, are like the type of person who likes to keep things organized and pretty. And, um, I have these amazing printables cause I am a web website, graphic design artist. I just don't <laughs> like to have my house that organized actually. I love to have my house that organized. I just don't keep it that organized. Um, so, and sorry, you can kind of hear my freeze dryer in the background kind of humming away. Um, I've always got stuff running in there. So what I'm talking about right now is we're talking about the camping or hunting or some kind of trip or how to plan for your meals. I'm a huge planner. Again, I've got six kids. Um, everybody relies on me to have the meals ready. I try really, really hard to make sure that I always have enough food for my family. This is in a preparedness situation. This is when we're hunting. This is when we're camping. Um, in fact, my goal is to usually send out more food than they need so that when they come home, we have food left over. Okay. So what we're going to talk about right now is I'm going to be going camping from, um, in, I'm going to be going, let's say from July, um, 17th. So we'll say seven, 17 and we'll go, I need one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to keep five spaces. We'll do six spaces. Then I'll go seven, 18, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 19, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think we're staying for quite a while. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to erase that. I'm just going to continue on. 721, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 722. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think that's what we're doing. Okay, and we're leaving this morning. So breakfast, I don't need to put anything because we're already, we usually stop and get breakfast at a restaurant. There's a place down at Rose Lake that is amazing. So I'll leave that. But lunch and dinner, I usually leave the spots, try to leave them too. And um, it's so funny because a lot of people don't, don't really like to plan and I've actually tried that I tried doing what my husband suggested he was like hey let's just keep it easy and let's just do hot dogs but by like the second day um and they didn't know that I'd actually packed a whole bunch of food I just didn't tell anybody because I don't I can't not plan so um, my husband they were sick of having hot dogs for breakfast lunch and dinner I was too but I kept my mouth shut until they were like oh we should have planned something and I was like oh look it mommy planned something and I pulled all the food out so everybody I was the hero of the day for just a little bit Okay, so we're going to um, come in and we're going to say, so no breakfast or we're just going to do Rose Lake. Okay, and then for lunch, so my biggest thing when I'm trying to do freeze drying or prepping of any kind is I plan my base around one specific thing. Okay, so my base for this one, because everybody loves tacos and chili dogs and all that stuff when we go camping. So I'm going to be doing a one main theme and that's going to be taco meat. Okay, because you can do a lot with taco meat. So my main one is going to be taco meat. Um, plus my kids love doing that and we love freeze drying it. I know it's a guaranteed good one and there's so many different things that I can do with the specific dish. Okay. I do have two different ones in there that I will be doing and that's because I will explain, I'll explain that when we get into it. Um, but because we did, I did have some requests and I like to break up that same taste. So as you know, taco meat, tacos, whatever else that you have with it, it's all like a similar taste, which is fine when you're camping. Um, but when you're trying to do like a food storage thing, you kind of want to, um, make sure you break it up. And with camping, I, I am breaking up with two separate nights. Also to keep in mind that when you're doing, like when you're freeze drying things and you're prepping things for that, um, like for instance, taco meat is really odorous and it has a lot of flavor to it, a lot of smell to it. So when I'm doing a whole bunch of taco meat, I think that came out to be, uh, I did three pounds per tray. So that was 12 pounds of taco meat of meat. Um, I don't want to just like, I don't want to just do a tray here and a tray there. I'm trying to do all of the meat so I can get that 
and get it done and get it done in one load, okay? So that's what my goal is here, is to try and get all of this done in as few loads as possible. So what are the ways I can do that? So we're gonna do lunch, we're gonna do breakfast at the Rose Lake, so I don't need to pack anything for breakfast. Of course, there'll probably be Rose snacks, but I'll be doing those down here. And you don't necessarily have to freeze dry the snacks, but you can. There's lots that I do uh, freeze dry because it makes it light and it's super fun, as you know. Um, okay, so for lunch on the first day, we're going to have set up probably right after we get up there, which is about 10 o'clock. So we'll have set up and then we'll do lunch. And everybody said that they just wanted to do sandwiches, which is fine. Sandwiches, you know, and then whatever, chips, um, whatever you'd have with that, a drink. Okay, now dinner for our first night, we're doing taco bowls or taco packets, um, which is very easy. So we're doing, we're just going to do, we'll say tacos. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. Now remember, taco meat is my main thing. So tacos is my first dinner. Now I'm going to skip down to the next day and I'm going to do the dinner for that day. I'm breaking it up a little bit because I want to take lasagna. They've been asking me to do camping lasagna, so I'm going to do lasagna here. Okay, and we'll probably do French bread and maybe green beans. Okay, so lasagna, French bread, green beans. I have tacos up here that incorporates everything else. We're taking up water bottles and flavor packets, and I'll show you the flavor packets and kind of some of these things in my next um, in my next video because. Um, that's actually what's in our food storage, and that's what works great with freeze dried options. Okay, because again, everything's light and everything's stored properly. Okay, then the next night we're gonna do chili dogs. Okay, and then the next night we're going to do um, we're gonna do a potluck with my aunt. And I think we're doing stew, but we haven't had a chance to really break that down yet. But essentially, it's going to be potluck. And I'll let you know when we get closer to it. But I'm going to actually do a printable of this so you can see what our, you know, five nights, six nights or whatever we're doing, how many nights. And you'll be able to see how to plan it. So you can plan yourself if you want. And I'll give you, I'll give you one that's filled out with my information. And I'll give you one that has a blank one so you can do the same if you want to. And then you can copy ours if you want to and just kind of fix it to tweak yourself. To, uh, you can tweak it to fix it for yourself. Okay, then the next day we're going to do... Taco soup. And um, I'll have recipes for all these so you, you know what to do and what to make and stuff. But um, So as you can see, we have tacos, chili dogs, which again uses the taco meat. Uh, we're having the potluck and we're doing a taco soup. And then this last night we're going to do, oh, I'm going to have the, okay. And then we'll have leftovers. Always, always make a night for leftovers because invariably we always have time. We always have food left over, which is crazy because I have six kids, but they're not usually eating all the lunch stuff and they're not eating all the dinner stuff because they've caught fish or because they've caught a rabbit or squirrels or whatever it is that they're doing. And I don't want to just, I don't want to like um, muffle that excitement for those types of things for camping. So this is really what we want to focus on is, okay, how can I plan it? And then keep as, t you know, having to hike as much minimal stuff up as I need to. And how can we incorporate so I can use the meat in multiple things. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, um, is I'm just going to come in here. They'll most likely do some fish stuff, but for fish, I might take rice up. Um, so we'll say fish and rice. I love that. I think that's delicious. Breakfast, I'm going to take up, we're going to do eggs. Um, probably like a scrambled egg omelet idea. Um, let's see. This breakfast, they said that they wanted muffins. Um, and this breakfast, maybe we'll do eggs again with pancakes. Um, this one here, we'll do cereal. Actually, I don't want to take up a bunch of stuff. What else do I have? I have eggs, omelet, eggs, and muffins. Let's do muffins again. Okay, another breakfast. Let's do um, eggs and sausage. Hopefully, my son has some fish. We can fry up some fish for breakfast. I love that. Um, eggs and sausage. And then we'll just do, for breakfast, we'll do the leftovers that we have. Because I'll have a bunch of leftovers. I mean, the kids love things like granola bars. Um, for snacks, they like fruit, yogurt. We'll probably do yogurt bites um, because they love that. And maybe we'll freeze dry some too. But we like fresh too, so 
this is not just going to be only freeze dried options because sometimes, you know, like at the end of the days or the survival situations, if you have a garden, you can still have fresh things. So we don't want to discreet, like, you know, leave those things out because chips, I'm not going to freeze dry chips. I've tried it. I don't like it. They stay fresh and stuff, but I want just regular chips. I want chips. Um, okay. So then like for this one, we might have, we're having hot dogs already that night. So let's have hot dogs today. Um, let's do sandwiches again. It's cute because my kids probably won't even eat, eat lunch because they, they play so much. I try really hard to give them a really big breakfast and a really big dinner. And then they just kind of snack throughout the day. Um, we'll do hot dogs again and we'll do sandwiches again. Um, and I bet you anything, I'm not going to need the sandwiches as much as I'm thinking because they are fishing a ton. They've got so many plants and the limit up there is six fish a day. So each of the kids, if they're getting one of those, you know, some of the brook trout, rainbow trouts, they're, they're going to be pretty good size. So I am not worried about us actually having enough food. It's, I'm actually worried about making sure I use everything pr correctly. Okay. So for the tacos, the things that I'm going to freeze dry, I'm going to actually flip to a new page and you'll have a page on your planner on the printables for you to, to access. So tacos, I only have two coolers. So I really have to limit what it is that I'm going to be taking up um, in the coolers. And I, so the way to limit that is to freeze dry as much as I can. Two coolers for a week for eight people is not that much. There is a creek down there that I'll be putting the water bottles into to keep them cold and pop and stuff. But other than that, I'm going to have to really work on making sure that that space is being used appropriately. Um, and I, they're not that big. The coolers are big, but they're not as big as I would like, like a fridge, right? <laughs> There's not a fridge. Um, okay. So for tacos, the things I can freeze dry and the things I want fresh. So this is how I would do this. So tacos, I would do meat. Okay. Cheese. Let's see what else I like peppers. And the peppers I might put in with the cheese, with the meat as it's reconstituting. Um, let's see, I like lettuce. And tomatoes are delicious freeze dried, but I like them fresh on my tacos. And I'm and I'm fine sacrificing, you know, quote unquote, sacrificing a little bit of room for the tomatoes. Um, we like olives, so these are fine, but these are canned. So I can, they don't have to be in the cooler, which is fine. That's a great way that we store them. I don't like olives that much freeze dried. I mean, I'll eat them, but I don't love them. Not, especially not for a taco. Um, sour cream is freeze dried and it's delicious. Um, I'm going to need the shells. Uh, let's see, tomatoes, salsa, oops, excuse me, ketchup and salsa. Yes, we are those crazy people who put ketchup on our tacos. And I can freeze dry salsa, but I think because I don't need to keep it, you know, too cold, I can just do it over here. And my husband likes taco sauce. Okay. So let's see. Lettuce, tomatoes. Now onions. Okay. Um, so I think that's pretty good. I think that's enough for what we'll do. And I already have onions mixed in with the meat, but we always like the onions because sprinkled on freeze dried onions are just so much fun. They're delicious. Okay, so these are the things that I'm going to need to freeze dry for that. Let me go back in and see what my next dinner was. Oh, lasagna. Okay. Lasagna. So I'm actually going to freeze dry the lasagna. Okay. And fresh, I want French bread fresh. And green beans can be either or. Um, I'm not going to freeze dry the green beans because I have it canned. And... Um, and honestly, I'd rather not have to just do enough for one dinner, freeze dry green beans for one dinner, um, because I want to use that for some other things that I'm doing, um, which we'll talk about in that just a second. Um, okay, so green beans. So this is enough for this dinner, okay? Um, and then we have, let me go back in and look again. So we have chili dogs. Chili dog night. Okay, so we, I'm going to need the buns. I'm going to need the chili, which I'm going to do with taco meat. Um, I'm going to need the hot dogs. I don't love freeze dried hot dogs. I think they're a little too greasy and I don't love when they, I mean, they're fine. It's just a freeze dried one is going to be kind of hard. You have to soak it and then put it over the fire. So I think it'd be easier for me just to do fresh hot dogs on this, on this go around, but I'm going to use this one freeze dried and we'll do cheese and onions. 
Um, and then of course got my ketchup, which I'll need sour cream if they want it. And we like the sour cream, the freeze dried sour cream kind of sprinkled on our corn, on our chili dogs, not just like reconstituted, but sprinkled on is actually really good. Um, buns, hot dogs, ketchup. Okay, good. So I've got my chili dogs. What's my next one? Um, then I've got my potluck with my aunt. So I'll, I'll go over that and then we'll talk about taco soup. So this would be all of my leftover taco meat. Okay. And this would be peppers, beans, like kidney beans. Um, we'll say kidney, etc. beans. And I've got tons of these freeze dried. You can also use them canned, which is always hello delicious, right? Um, but I usually cook the beans first, then freeze dry them so that I have the option just to toss them in if I want. Um, let's see. I'll do cheese and sour cream. Um, I don't think I need anything fresh for this. We might take tortillas, any leftover tortillas and dip it, uh, chips. Mm, I'm going to want, oh, I'll probably do a can of diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. I like diced tomatoes cans. Probably the Rotel style. I like that little extra spice. My kids don't always love me for it, but. They'll thank me someday. Okay, so we have, um, so this will all go in. And then I'm going to actually add in bouillon too. Because I like adding a little bit of chicken bouillon to that. It, it really brings out the flavor. Um, so this is, this is, these are the meals that I have planned. I'm also going to be doing um, root beer floats for one of the nights. And I'm going to freeze dry the ice cream. And then I'm gonna do root beer. Yeah, you can do homemade root beer, but I'm gonna do root beer with a can. And then I'm gonna do, um, oops, okay. After the root beer floats, we're probably gonna do some kind of an apple cobbler, which I can do this with apples. And then like the graham crackers and stuff. Okay, so those might be the two treats that we do. And then, you know, you always have s'mores, but you don't have to freeze dry s'more stuff. Um, I've tried melting marshmallows before. They're not fun when they've been freeze dried. However, I might bring some just to kind of bring some. Um, and then we're going to be doing hot cocoa in the mornings. Um, so I'll have the marshmallows for that freeze dried. And then the cocoa mix. Okay, so... What I need to do now is I need to know that I'm going to be doing the meat. I've already done the meat uh, because I, I have done this, this plan already. Um, and I'm going to be doing 12 pounds. So that should be enough for my family. Cause I also do things like adding corn in beans in, onions in whatever to make my meat go extended. It's called extending it. Um, so I'll have to do this and I'll need to make sure that that's packed. So I have the meat. Then what I'll do is I have the cheese. So I'm going to do about 15 or excuse me, about five pounds of cheese and I'm going to separate them out into quarts and you'll see all those. I also will have peppers, um, sour cream. I'll have all those done. So I need to make sure that I have, okay, I'm going to have sour cream for these days. Then I'm going to need to make a day specifically where I make the lasagna and I'm going to make a double batch so we can eat the lasagna on one day. And that same day I'll portion it out and put it on the trays. And I'll do a video for that so you can see how to do lasagna, how to make it and put it on a thing. And I make really sloppy lasagna, like very sloppy. It's like best friends with your French bread. So I'll do a video on how to do lasagna um, and then how to put them in your trays. And then we're going to also do, like I said, these reconstitution videos as we're out in the field away from a kitchen. I will not have a kitchen. And then what we'll do is we'll how to turn that chili meat into the, into chili meat for your tacos, your taco meat into chili meat, um, how to use these. I'm going to make sure I have some onions done because I need those. Again, sour cream will be done. Oh, and the cheese. Um, I'll make sure I have the beans done. So all of these things need to be done. I have a load of ice cream that needs to go in and a load of apples that need to go in so that I can do these other dishes. I also need to do marshmallows and make sure that I have some marshmallows that are ready to go. Now here's the thing. This is really, really important. When you are looking at your dishes here, you want to make sure that you freeze dry 
the dishes specifically for your camping trip. You do not want to go into your stores and pull your stuff out of your food storage. You don't want to do that. The reason you don't want to do that is because you might have a specific inventory of things that is written down that's for your food storage. This, what you want to do is make this specifically for your trip, your hunting trip, your camping trip, whatever it is that you're doing. That way you have it done you put it down and you check mark it off your list. Because what if you're like, okay, I've got, I'll go into my food storage and I'll find the, the cheese that I need to find. And you don't get there and you don't get there and you don't get there. And then it's like two days before you have to leave on your trip and you're like, oh, I forgot to go down and get, go down and get the cheese. And you can't, you one, can't find the cheese or two, you don't have cheese like you thought you did or you don't have enough. Well, you don't have time to freeze dry it at this point. So I always try to do my plans about eight weeks in advance so I can fit in each of these things to at least one a week um, because I'm also freeze drying things for my food storage as well. So you really want to make sure that you have time and give yourself plenty of time. We'll be doing the same thing for my hunting trip my husband's hunting trips this fall and I will again show you how to utilize that give you ideas on things because some people don't love taco or ch chili or whatever um, another great one that might be a great base would be like turkey how can you use turkey how can you use chicken as your base how can you use um, you know keto options for your base what are some things that you can do to um, to really utilize those meats and stuff so you can save time on your free string on your freeze drying options. All right, so thank you so much. Don't forget to hit subscribe. This is just the planning section. Remember, I'll have that printable available for you on my printables vault. The link is in the comments. If you have any problems, any questions, anything at all, just let me know in the comments and we'll address them. But this is gonna be so much fun. And again, like I said, some of these things you can freeze dry, some of them you don't have to, but I should be able to keep my one cooler full and I can still have an extra cooler just in case I need one, just with having these things being freeze dried. Okay. Let me know again in the comments if you have any questions or anything, and I can't wait to see you guys some more. This is so much fun. I can't wait to show you some more things. Um, hit subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Thanks you guys.